Hey everybody, it's Fergie with RecordingCrave.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I sure do appreciate it. In this video, I want to talk to you about using Slate's trigger as a gate on a drum. Specifically, in this case, it's a snare drum. I'm trying to eliminate snare bleed on this particular song because on this song, I want the drums to sound very clean, not overly processed, but very clean where I can hear the hi-hat uh, shine through the mix, uh, maybe more than other mixes that I do. On this song, I'm using all slate plugins. And the trigger has a very cool gate on it. Let me show you what it can do. I'm gonna play you just a little snippet of the song first. Okay, that is a snippet of the song, and you can hear the hi-hats pretty clean coming through the left monitor if you have your headphones in, right? Let's solo up the drums here and just listen to the drums. I will say that I am using, uh, again, Slate's plugins on here, and on the kick drum, I'm using a, a nice little compressor called, and it's free, by the way, the Monster that is uh, sounds incredible. and but it comes along with a little hiss. So when I isolate the drums, you're gonna hear some hiss in the track. So that's where that's coming from. So let me play this isolated. Okay, I'm gonna open up Trigger now. And I'm gonna bypass the gate. Quite a bit of difference. Uh, this gate is super nice. Now let's let's solo up just the snare, and let me bypass the gate. Now, one thing I need to mention is this mix knob over here needs to be all the way down to zero. If I was using samples for the kick and the snare and whatnot, and if I just wanted the sample sound, I would have to have this on 100% just to have the sample sound. Now, if I wanted to mix my recorded drum sound with the samples, I would bring this back to whatever taste that I like for that sound and leave it accordingly. But when we're using the gate, we leave it on zero. I'll show you why. Okay, here we're playing it. So if I start blending it over here, the mix is, it takes my snare out of the mix because it thinks that I'm, I'm trying to play the sample at 100%. So I'm gonna bring my snare back in, and there you have it. But this is really about the gate, but I wanted to show you that this mix knob should be at zero uh, when doing that. Anyway, that is using Slate's trigger as a gate on a snare channel. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments below. I appreciate your viewership. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.